After all the hardships they have begun, the test said their patience and determination to join the police service, they finally took their oath on July 1, 2020 and are appointed into the Philippine National Police Service with the initial rank of patrol man and patrol women. They are currently undergoing public safety basic record course, a six-month course which includes internal security operations, module training or military six and academic training. Upon taking oath and assumption of the office, you are invested by the people and the law and authority as a law enforcement officer. To the class of PSDRT, Sergeant Lahi, you were brave enough to take the first step. You took the risk, the oath to give the country, and vowed to serve as the vanguard face. and behind their person to serve and protect their countrymen with utmost integrity and credibility. It's a training center beyond compare. It serves as their home, the National Capital Region Training Center. It is the sanctuary with their body, mind, soul, and character. We're home to what they are now and will be for the rest of their lives as law enforcers. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
present him for guest of honor speaker, whom I similarly very honored to introduce, Police Colonel Romel Bernardo Papagnot, his RS, who are asking director, KPPI, Police Brigadier General Alice Botes, and teacher, other officers of SMPC, staff, PCOs, PCOs, members of the PS First C Class Ultra 2020 Class 02 Alpha Hope, Sally Lahi, ladies and gentlemen, good pleasure morning. To the students, your batch name, Sally Lahi, means Sumumpan Aagapay Sarasumong Pilidad, Kainyatas ng Natatang Lahi. It signifies duties and responsibilities as a young generation of police officers since you took oath last July 1, 2020. On your recognition day, I want you to make full use of the knowledge as well as the skills from this training when you step out of this training center for you to become an effective and efficient police officer. This training will help you as you strive to be professionally competent morally upright, and technically proficient law enforcement officers. Let me give recognition too to your mentors and instructors for their commitment and dedication in setting the foundation for our police officers. For them to be men and women of integrity, honor, and social passion, we change the organization for the betterment of the lives of the citizenry and for the genuine progress of our country. Palakpakan din po natin ang ating mga training staff and instructors na din nandito na ngayon. As we hear the call, as one team PNP by our Chief Police General de Bolsinas, the basic truth course is important in fulfilling our objective of developing leaders at all levels, which will unite the organization towards commitment for genuine change that aims to make the PNP the catalyst for our nation's progress. Let us always remember that a leader knows how to instill the right discipline to their subordinates and for them to discipline others, they should first be disciplined individuals themselves. My final guidance to the Sarnahi as to lead the portals of the center a few weeks from now to undergo MTP. Beware to fly, to be, 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 pride, be proud to wear the badge of honor while serving the public in the highest ideals of service, honor, and justice. Maraming salamat po and welcome to this training event. Thank you, sir, for that very warm welcome. As we go near to the recognition proper, the candidates will now be presented to the acting chief NCRTC for recognition. At this point in time, may I request Police Captain Alberto Rui Magallanes, the assistant chief non-academic section, to do the honor. National Capital Region Training Center, Police Colonel Roman B. Dinacruz Jr. Sir, in my capacity as the Assistant Chief, non-academic section, I have the honor to present to you the 350 strong members of Public Safety Basic Recruit Course, last 2020-02, Sarin Lahi. Ready to be recognized, sir! For the acknowledgement and declaration for recognition, may we request Police Colonel Roman Bernardo de la Cruz, Jr., Sir, the Acting Chief and CRTC. By the authority vested upon me, the Acting Director, PNPPI, Police Brigadier General, Alice Botesin Team, 
and in a capacity as Dr. Chief, National Capital Region Training Center, I now declare the 350 strong members of this DRC Class 2020 W02 Sarinahi recognized effective district organization. The acting chief of CRTC has just declared the recruits recognized. To the trainees, keep up the good work and congratulations. May you request Police Leader General Alex Bottas and Dean, Acting Director of the Philippine National Police Training Institute, and Police Colonel Romeo Bernardo Abrea Nubalba, Acting Chief of Regional Staff and CRPO, together with the staff personnel to lead the ceremonial opening of colors and rolling seats. What is the potential challenge of recognition? How important is the recognition to the students? Let our recognition students try to find an answer. What does recognition really mean? According to some brand directors who have been explicitly asked about the recognition, we want to provide the same thing in the joint in the organization. It is but natural that it will be subjected to the organization's rules and regulations. It will be a life to following its norms and standards to be called as one of life members. All the students will aim to have a well-behaved and well-disciplined DMC members of the organization who will properly deal with the community in the near future. They are being taught on things that they ought to do, and their movements and activities were so numbered that oftentimes they have to work in unison. This learning took place in the part month of their training. It was somewhat regular. However, the recruits were able to comply with the set requirements. In that program, the recruits were to be recognized for their concerted group efforts. They were able to abide with the set rules and regulations and fortunately teach their best to come to avail of their privilege to be recognized. As a member of the Public Safety Basic Recruit Course, Sarin Lang. Yes, this is it. Indeed, the recruit was to be a higher student with the rules and regulations set forth for the school. All of them did very hard so that this day would be realized. For the PSDR class 2013 that started with Sarin Lang, you are brave enough to take the first step. You took the risk. The also keep the country at peace and the vow to serve as the vanguard to peace. And behind this pursuit to serve and protect your countrymen with useful integrity and credibility is a training center beyond compare. It serves as their home for precisely 171 days and will be for the next few days. The National Capital Region Training Center, it is designed for you where their body, mind, soul, and character were home to what they are now and will be for the rest of their lives as law enforcement. 
The 300 feet deep, strong men and women of BSPR class who is not supposed to be their group is the manifestation of the long National Capital Region Training Center vision to produce new generation of law enforcers who are professionally competent, technically proficient, and most importantly, morally abroad. The training center's mission is to learning in what drives law enforcers to reach Once again, the newly recognized recruits of the SDRC class 2018 that served to Sarin Line. At this juncture, may I request Police Brigadier General Alex Botis Sinti, Acting Director of the Philippine National Police Training Institute, for his message.
until uh, officers in UPs, ladies and gentlemen, of course, the member of
we will witness is Navi and impressive skills demonstration in squadron exhibition of the PSPRC class 2020-02 Sarin Lahi. For our guests, maybe we request you to remain in your seats, relax, and enjoy.
as this group of diverse people comprise the future police officer they may come and go to serve the nation. May we request our guest speaker to acknowledge the brilliance. Yes. 